I'm Keg De Caesar and I'm here from Sydney, Australia. I was invited by the South London Gallery through their Open Plan Commission to work with the kids on Pelican Estate to create a temporary project over the summer. Most architecture is designed for adults primarily and then often there's adaptations for children or there's spaces that are zoned for children such as a playground. I like the idea that these installations are designed by the kids. The red and green touch boxes have holes in them so people can stick their hands in and you feel the texture of what's inside and experience parts of the estate in different ways. The structure that exists for Observe is a giant periscope. One of the activities we did through the workshops was creating our own cardboard periscopes and so the final installation is based on those periscopes. The kids can go inside and look out around the estate and spy on who's in the playground and it gives you a completely different perspective of looking at the estate. The orange and blue listen boxes, when you stick your head in those, there's a series of buttons you can press and you can hear different recordings that the children have made of them describing the estate, some that they've made of different objects around the estate using contact microphones. It felt really satisfying because of the voices and the music. Keg and I, with, and with my sister, anything we heard, we would write it on, on, paper, on paper, and then after that she recorded us. I hear people playing football. The way that the kids have mapped movement is through their shortcuts they take between the two playgrounds and there's a series of words they chose that describe the way they move through a state. Cartwheel, wriggle, twist, turn, hop. This map represents an alternative cartography of the estate and it's from the kids' perspective. They gave us a paper with a map on it and then we had to tell them our local area and like where we live and like where we play and where we climb trees or something like that and we have to tell a story. Everything that's presented has been drawn through what the kids have taught me about the estate. It's nice to learn about a place through the children and taking that as a starting point, developing these series of projects with them. In a bit, in a bit.